Go to Anchor is a button that has two very different actions. In another video in this series, I show you how anchors can have both activated and deactivated states in a sub layout. In this video, I'll show you how anchors can bring you to another page within your app without specifying an article ID or a page number. This may seem redundant since there is already a go to article action. However, the importance of an anchor is that even if the article or the page the anchor is on changes, the anchor will always work. For example, you may delete an article and add it again in the Project Manager panel. That would give the article a new article ID number, and your link would no longer work. Or you might add a page to the middle of an article. This would change the page number. If you use anchors instead of article actions, your navigation will never break. Anchors are extremely useful when making TOCs. To begin, you can make the anchor on the destination page. In this example, I want the user to be able to tap on the word chili and automatically be taken to the chili page within this article. I'll start by creating a frame with the rectangle tool on the destination page. This frame will be invisible since it has no fill or stroke. Once it is made, you can either send it behind all of the other layers to hide it or just leave it where it is. By default, anchors are invisible. Next, I'll apply the anchor enrichment in the AVE interactivity panel. Each anchor must have its own specific name. I'll name mine Anchor1. Notice how you can set a color for your anchor, but the default setting for an anchor is to have the transparency set to zero. This is why anchors appear invisible on render. Now that the anchor is set up, we can make a button that will take the user to this anchor. I'll navigate back to page one of this document. I'll draw a frame over the word chili. With the frame selected, you choose button in the AVE interactivity panel. Click the create button next to add the tap action. You can leave tell set to reader. For to execute, use the drop down menu to choose go to anchor. Now you just need to type in the name of the anchor you want this button to navigate to. I'll type in anchor one. Now that the button and the anchor are made, I can save this document and preview it in my kiosk. When I click on the word chili, I am automatically brought to the page with the chili layout. The best part of making this navigation using anchors is that if I decide to add more pages to the section before the chili layout, this button will still take me to the correct page. Thanks for watching.